That's a fish pattern. It's a goldfish. Not finished yet. My friend Dacron said it's not finished yet. I know that, but it's got purple in there. It's like a half fish hiding behind seaweed. It's a beautiful little fish. Anyway, that's his thing. This is one Leanne's going to finish. That's the rod we've been building. So Leanne's going to finish that rod. Some sticky tape on there to hold some thread. He puts down there. You see the magic hands. The hands. The hand again. The master's hands. He's very talented how he does this. Okay, so to put the sticky tape there because then he gets the, the cotton. See the cotton there? He gets the cotton. He puts a bit of, a bit of sticky tape there. And then uh, he puts that there so when this is for the the crossing this it's going to show Leanne how to start with the thing line back up the pattern will start about here then he's just running it across his marks that he's marked out this is the beginning of a fish pattern. Then he brings it back down the other way. If I could find it. He's blinder than me sometimes. I'll work it. I'll work it. I'm sure he can do it blindfolded. He's made a uh, hundred and one over there and over there. So this is our second rod built. Okay, that's your basic start. What you do now is Go over that and you have different colours, create a little eye, then stop doing your body. So, which colours? You want to iron it or not? Yeah. Don't worry about an eye. Yeah, we, no, we want an eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put an eye in it. So you've got to pick a colour for the eye, which will be... What do you think will go with that purple? Um, a red eye. A nice red eye? Yeah, a red eye. Okay. You probably won't see that purple, but anyway. Crisscross it left and right of it. Left and right. Do I put a sticky there? Yep. yep. Like Follow that. that line. Left side, right side, left side, right side. That, that creates a diamond. That's it, hog trish. Yeah. I'm just the apprentice. He's just going to tighten it up to make it look. Okay. We'll talk about it. That's my sweetness's little hands there. She's got such gorgeous, pretty little hands. I don't think so. These are the hand. Just tighten up the pattern as we do start the body up. Done a good job there, sweetness. It's coming along. It's going to be my fish. Best tool to use out. Which, and what is that? Bit of tweezers. Pair of tweezers sticky taped it together. So just to put all the threads together. Okay. Okay. Now, my friend Dacron just did this. Just point to where he did it there. Just use your finger. You got a prettier finger than my big snotty finger. Where is it? There, there see the outline? So it's a black. Binding thread there he used. You can just see it on the thing. It's next to Leanne's pretty little finger there, see? So that's the that's the outline of the tail. Is that the outline of the tail? The beginning of it, yes. That's the beginning of the outline of its tail. So Leanne's got a full 
in between the purple and that black. Is that right? Yep. From left to right. Yep. Is that right? Left, left to right. Left and right, yes. Left and right. And then that's... The black is the border and you work inside and it makes the tail. So the so black, black's the border, you work on the inside and it makes the tail. Special way you've got to hold the thread. How many threads you got? Two. I've got two. Two black ones together. Okay. It's just looped. Around One, your finger like... One's looped around there. Yeah. Just so that you keep they don't apart. get twisted. Alright, yeah. and then what do you got to do then? Now I've got to do two on this side. See? On the right side, see? Yeah, I can't and see. And see? see. Okay. Like that. Yeah, there. So there's a lot of work involved in that, isn't there? Yeah, a lot of work. Looks pretty tedious, doesn't it? Yeah, make sure you get it in the right spot. Try again. Try and block that off. Oh, that's better. See, following. So give another look here. The master builder will soon tell me if I've got it wrong. Because yeah, right, <laughs> I'm just the apprentice. Yeah. Taking the purple back. Yeah. And then when I reach the end, I'll be coming back with the black. Okay. Because see that little that red there? That's going to form the eye of my fish. Okay. And the black. Is my tail of the fish? I don't know. Is the black, is the, the, black tail the tail of my fish? No, it's back border. The purple will be the tail. Right, the purple is going to form the tail of my fish. Okay. So as it progresses, it's a purple fish. You'll see. Purple fish. Okay. Red eyed purple fish. Red eyed purple fish. And it's going to look awesome. No, I'm, we're going to hook up some awesome things on this rod. Yeah, because you got the master rod builder. Showing you step by step. Exactly. All right. So it can't go wrong. That's looking pretty cool. Okay, now I'm going to get my black. I sort of see the eye. You're just tightening up your threads. Yeah, I'm just making them all tight and neat and tidy. Just so I can see where I've been. Just, one down. just work my way around and around. It's looking gorgeous, really. Right? It is looking really good. Mm. Yeah, now I'm going to put on my next one. What colour are you putting on there now? I'm going to put purple on now. You're going to put another purple on? Yeah. I'm going to put the purple on at the front of the red near that purple. Mm -hmm. And that red, that's the fish's eye. Start of the fish's eye. You see? Okay, I'll just come around this side now so we can just see you tightening up the threads. Trying to bring them tight. So this is what we done with the rod that Rod built under close supervision of my friend Dacron there. And um, Leanne wanted to build her own rod too, so 
we got this old broken down rod and we're refurbishing it and rebuilding it. And it's going to be... It's going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be a mid-range rod. And we'll probably put a little Sedona on it or a... Uh, probably a little Biomaster or something on it. We're not sure yet. But um, we'll be sure of one thing. Um, my good mate keeps uh, telling us to hook them in the mouth. So Leanne's going to hook them in the mouth, Charles <laughs> Kramer. I most certainly am. This is going to be her hook them in the mouth rod. So a bit of luck, she gets some uh, good action with it. So we decided to build a rod. Well, we decided to build a rod and Leanne decided it was going to be hers. We got all the good runners on it. Top notch. Um, what are those runners? Silicon. Silicon Fuji. Yes. Silicon Fuji. Relevant, no, Fuji, whatever. Well, they're silicons and um, they're good, uh, beautiful rod. If your eyes start heating up and all that sort of stuff because you got a big run and all that sort of thing. Just dip it in the ocean. They'll call it off. What? Your runners. It's not going to hurt to dip your, your runners in the ocean to cool them down when you see smoke smoking off them. <laughs> smoking off them when that real squealing. Mm. Love the sound of the squealing reel. So tighten the threads up, close up the gaps. Yep, which will take me a little while to do. So just do that, tighten them up a bit. Yeah, okay. Mm. Now can you see the fish coming along? Slowly. Slowly. It's awesomeness in the making. Okay, you got the black you're putting on over the top or at the back? Um, at the back form its tail and there's still two threads of black in there. So you got two bits of cotton in there. I do. Coming down there, wrap around your finger. Yeah. Down on the two. Yeah, got it wrapped there. around my little finger there. Mm. And now I'm coming at the coming at the butt, which is still part of his tail. See at the back. Yeah, it looks a little bit a little bit messy at the moment, but then once you do a couple of runs up and down, then you tighten them up a bit and so on and so forth. And then it looks really good. Mm. Doing it at the front so that the fish can stand out. Just go up and down and then I'll tighten that all up before I come back and do another one. Okay, that's looking really good now. Yeah, I've got to go up and down and then up and down at the front of the fish here just to do a little bit more black. Let's do it. To make the pattern pop, put a bit of gold on there. hands they really changed so um, this is the master's hands doing the gold lock off and he's coming back down on the other side
see how easy he makes that look. He does make it look easy. That's why he's the last thing that he printed. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look how beautiful it looks now with just two, wow. two threads. Oh, look at that. It is. Oh, it borders it off. That just looks awesome. Yeah, this is silver, darling. Yeah. run a thread down here to bind it off which makes it finishes it off which makes it look pretty and then the same down this end here do the finish off down here bind it off make it look pretty down there and then it'll look like um, like the runners here the Dacron just said it'll look all pretty like that see that there like that and then the silver's like in the middle the gold trimming there the pink and the black. So we'll just get on to uh, what do you call that? Finishing it off? Yeah. What do you call it? Locking, locking off. off. So we'll just lock it off now and uh, we'll film some more later. Oh, okay, this is the lock off, the binding off. We've got to do that reasonably tight. Yeah, I get so we we try and cut cut the uh, thread off the uh, fishing pole um, because we don't need the thread but you don't want to cut too much through the fishing pole to, to make a weakened spot on the fishing pole when you're scoring it with the knife because then when you get a, um, a turner on your rod, it'll snap it. Okay, you can see we've tidied the end up a tiny bit. We just bind it off with the black. And we just gotta, you just gotta do that every now and then. See, you just gotta go like that every now and then. Special little tool he's made out of some um, some line. Four kilo fishing line, and some even cotton. Four Ooh, kilo yeah. fishing line, so you can poke that through there. Then when he's tied this off, and then he just pulls it back, which pulls the thread through, which locks it off. He's like the two can man, but he's the can do man. And then see how easy that was? Locked off. Pack on her um, rod that she's just finished building. It's a slow process putting the uh, two pack on. And this one will be about a 15, 20, probably 24 kilo stick or something like that. So she'll be able to heal in a big enough fish with it. Just finishing yeah. off now. It's, uh, there's the first one on TV. Wow. 
Okay, so How's it looking? Beautiful. Okay, that's its first coat. She'll give it another five or six coats. How many coats she give it? A little drop from the second blue. Two coats. She'll give it another two coats. And that's it. Beautiful. We can use it on Monday. Excited about that? I am really excited.